So we have a problem. I have um, way too many clothes and I'm going in like a minute to leave the country and I can only take one bag because an extra bag is only like 250 US dollars for an extra one. So we need to purge. Like literally look at all these shoes, but that's not it. There's more over here, more shoes here. Oh, and all of these, oh, that's just all tops. That's just all jackets. That's some hanging stuff and that's all my pants. How am I going to fit all of this stuff literally in just this bag? So yes, this is the bag I'm taking um, and somehow we're gonna fit everything in here or else I'm gonna have to wear it all on the plane. So uh, we'll see how that goes. But hey, if you're new here, my name is Jen. I love fashion dog martens and traveling so yeah if you haven't already please subscribe but today we're going to be purging my closet i'm going to be trying to pick what i'm taking i'm going to be purging and i'm going to be putting things away for i don't know maybe my mom can come pick it up i <laughs> i am going to america very very soon actually a lot sooner than i thought because my flight had to be changed so i'm frantically trying to get this sorted. I didn't actually have this many clothes when I got to New Zealand because I came to New Zealand in January. Ended up with a lot from thrifting, from getting some stuff from Ganda, they send me stuff sometimes, and also I won a bunch of Doc Martens, which is awesome. I'm not complaining, that is not a bad situation to be in, it's just don't know how I'm going to pack it, but I think I'm probably just going to end up wearing the heaviest ones on the plane as well as my heaviest clothes, which could be these overalls and like those shoes. So let's um start. I don't know where to start. I'll do shoes at the end, but let's start with clothes. I honestly hate the fact that I have to do purges often. Like I feel really bad about that, but I'm going to try sell them on Depop if I don't think I'll get to wear them anytime soon. And I think someone might like it. So first up, I got this top which is super, super cute. It looks cool under overalls. Um, I might sell. We have this jumper. Now I think the lighting is going to fluctuate a lot, but this is super cute. I got it from the op shop for $5, but I think I have clu cluter. Cool and cuter <laughs> jumpers. We're doing this as speed round, speed round. I think I'm going to do a lot of thrifting while I'm in America. So thing is if I, think there's something that could easily be thrifted or I might find something cooler then I'm probably not going to take it. Um, this is just a little singlet top which I may take as like a pajama top so that's going in the keeping. Everything needs to fit in the bag. I'm not paying extra at the airport because my flight ended up being double the price when I had to rebook it because it changed. It's got like a piano thing and I got it from this really cool artist on Instagram. I'll like link it, but that has to go because my boyfriend bought it from me. And for those of you who don't know me, I'm going to America because my boyfriend lives there. He just went back a couple weeks ago. We have this little top, which is super cute. It's cool as a basic, but I think I'm gonna put set in the cell donate pile. Now I feel real bad because I got some of the stuff recently, but I just, I can't fit it, but this is this cool, really oversized top, but the thing is, it's like way too boxy for me. Like I think when I want oversized, I want it like long. <laughs> I have really small shoulders, so it kind of, it doesn't do the right oversized look for me. It's just kind of like really baggy on the sides. So next up, I got a turtleneck top, which is inside out. Okay, it's going in the maybe pile. If that maybe pile ends up overflowing, Skin shunted. Okay, so this jacket, I gave it to my friend Lauren a few years ago. It's an American Apparel bomber jacket. It's quite small though. I really like it, but I already do have a corduroy jacket. And for those of you thinking, Jen, I thought you had orange hair. Well, I was preserving my hair for so long, trying to keep it orange and it stayed forever because I was like never washing it. But now I'm doing the opposite and I'm trying to fade it. It's gone like, pink this is super super cute like cottage core vibes but i do have a white top already can you just work you better work bitch i don't know if you can see that everything's too bright but this is a really cute top with like a little mushroom design on it 
Um, I may keep this. We have this really cool top. It's got like, what is that? Turtleneck? Yes, words. Turtleneck top. It's all glittery and everything. I haven't worn it too much because it's been like super cold here and like I don't really know how to wear turtleneck but then my arms are cold. I don't really know what season this is for. I think this might go in the maybe pile which might include the keeping here until I can ship it to Australia pile so. This is like the similar realm of that last top but it's like a patterned version. Um, it's also a turtleneck and sleeveless. It just looks super, super flattering, but I just don't know what it goes with. So I think I might have to just see what else I'm taking with me. The pros, it's very lightweight. It looks good with Doc Martens. Um, and I don't think I'll take up much room in my bag. So I think I might put it in for now. This one's just like a really cool pop of color in photos. It is stretching out so much though. It's funny that I always just sway towards all the clothes that I've had for like so many years instead of any of the new things. That's why you just need to only get a few things in your wardrobe and that's it. They fall apart. I'm sorry, Lucy and Yak, but these fall apart like every third wear that I wear them. Like I've had them taken up and fixed so many times. Like, do you see this as a whole? <sighs> like all the seams are falling apart but they're so cute so i'm gonna put that in the leave here bundle which where did i put that now this dress i got recently and it's super cute so i think i'm gonna keep this one definitely i could get something like this somewhere else it's this yellow dress with kind of this floral detailing very very cute but I just don't like the length of it and it's not really my color. It's see-through. I never know what underwear to wear with it. So I am gonna sell it, but it is practically brand new. I'm sorry if my freaking camera is blowing out. All right, now can you see me? I think you can. If it's too dark, I'm sorry, but <laughs> yes, I've got this kind of play suit thing that I thrifted recently. And then my Nana took it in for me. So it fits me a lot better. I will take this to America, I suppose, because it's going to be quite hot. I think it's like 30 degrees right now. This dress I will probably take because, you know, I wear it a lot in my videos, even though I should really change things up. But like, I don't like it. The fact that influencers are supposed to just like wear different clothes all the time. I like to just wear the same thing all the time. Like, how cute is this dress? It fits me perfectly because it's it's taken me a while to like find one of these skirts that actually fits and isn't like hugging my like belly. And this looks quite nice with all my dogs. So I'm gonna take that. It's like really easy to wear, but I guess I'll either pick one or the other or they'll both go. It's really cool. It actually like <laughs> matches the background. So that's gonna go in for now. But the thing is it gets really crinkly. I don't know if you can see that. Also, I need to cut these things off. Why the heck do I have these things on here? die all right let's go for it next bag <laughs> this one is i think jackets and tops first jacket that's fallen off the pile is this one here and it's like the perfect shape because i feel like i just don't really suit denim jackets but this one kind of works with my style in the bag next up is this top which is cool and 70s inspired does it go with everything else I have? I don't know. Maybe pile. We've got this Unif tank. Could sell, but then it's so cute. I don't know. Funny that. We have another Unif top, which I think I'll take because it's like really cool colors. Super cool. That's going in. I don't know if you can see me, but it doesn't take up that much room. So I might take that with me. Maybe pile. Next up we have this top, which I wear a lot with my red overalls. Um, it's a very cute top. I think I will pack it. Now the thing is, I don't think I have a problem with the amount of stuff that fits in my bag. Like my bag is quite big and I can fit a lot in there. It's just that like the weight is a problem. Like when did it become 23 kilos? I swear it used to be 30. I wore this the other day and literally got like so many compliments. Next up is this jumper, which I wear a lot. Um, I like that I'm like filming this because it's putting me under pressure because I think I don't have room on my SD card. So I have to make quick decisions. Do I love it? Does it make me, what's it? Does it spark joy? Like, 
This one here sparks joy. I literally wear this all the time. I think I might sell it. A classic. You wear them as pajamas, you wear them as anything. This would look so cool under my overalls right now. Like, I think that is a keeper. So this is like the puff sleeve kind of look. I wear it under heaps of dresses and stuff and it looks so cute. Also very comfy because it's like that elasticated thing. So that's going in the bag for now. That is going. I think I'm just gonna have to leave it here for next time I'm in New Zealand or in Australia. The top is very cute, so I'll probably keep that. How do I even wear this? I don't know, but it's so cute. As you can see, the bag is already quite full, but obviously when you pack it, you don't pack it like that, so I'm hoping it fits. This one actually has like a really nice green pattern on it. Um, I might keep it because I love the details on the bottom. And it looks cool with like shorts and skirts and everything, but it is a maybe, so it's going on the edge of the suitcase. Next, we have a turtleneck, which will not be convenient for when I get there, but maybe later on. Not sure if it's too bright, but cool picture on it, so that's staying. Next is a swimsuit with the yin yang kind of print. Matches my yin yang pants that you'll see soon. I'm taking that as my swimwear. So this is just basically a, a cropped um, collared shirt, so good little basic to have for everything. All right, this is 100% a keeper. I'm probably gonna wear it on the plane. Look at all the sun design and everything on there. Got the suns down the sleeves, but I'm gonna have to sell it. Bear with me, everybody. We are gonna get to the dog one soon, but now we have to get to some of these things. I might take it, but it's like, I might do thrifting there, so. Big bud jumpsuit. Definitely keeping, cause like, if I don't wear it in the next few years, when am I gonna wear it? I'm just kidding, I'm gonna be buried in it. Oh, I just love this jacket. You've probably seen it so many times. You'll see me rocking up to the plane in this if this doesn't fit. Do we take this? It's like really cute dress and it's like long enough at the back. Okay, I think I'm, I'm taking it. I swear to God, everyone that I wear this around says, oh my God, I love that dress. It is very cute, but like, I'll take it if it fits in the bag. Maybe I'm just getting conservative in my old age, but it seems kind of short. Is it practical? No. How many times am I gonna wear it? Probably not enough. I kind of feel like putting it on. This is so cool. I'll probably, like, I don't love my legs out, but if I have to do it for this jumpsuit, I'll do it. It has a matching skirt, which I'm definitely taking. It's like really small, so I think it'll be good. My boyfriend, loves on me for some reason it's very like 70s inspired it fits really nice i probably don't need another dress now onto this bad boy but like classic so i feel like i need to take it just because my boyfriend got me the jacket and he'll be pissed if i don't bring it with me that's so cute i actually think i might put them on to test them out so i would say i'm probably like blowing out like crazy on the camera right now but another white item that you can't see but it's these white pants they have this like cool detailing where it's like see-through there then they take up a lot of room so maybe pile they don't have any pockets wow i'm like a beacon I feel like i need to try it on the skirt super short my butt is like literally right there such a find when i got it that's the problem this is like the sad pile. <laughs> Why is it gonna be so sad? Bodies change as you get older. A size extra small, I'm probably a size small. Now in theory, this skirt should be a good substitute for that skirt from American Apparel. But the only thing is I just find that it's like not the right colors for me maybe because it doesn't really go with all my other stuff. It is really cute, so they look actually quite good. I'm just not really a flares person. Like it makes me look shorter i don't like the tightness up here speaking of flares we have more flares here stretchy flares yeah they're really cute but they're just like not my style um they got like a wide leg and then like this kind of thing i think i'm gonna put them in the keep here pile because i'm gonna be on the hunt for more overalls and i think my overalls section of my bag is kind of already full here we have very cool jeans they're a very cool fit. They're just pretty tight on me and I'm just gonna just face it and like just get some new jeans, sell these off. 
I literally thought I like sized up two times with these pants. Oh, they kind of are somewhat fitting today. I don't know, they are so cute. I think at the rate I'm going, they'll fit me. It's just, is it worth it? I have the skirt for like that matching top I showed you it before, which is super cool for summer. Like I wear this all the time. Does it look cute with this top? I think I'm just gonna have to get rid of it because I haven't really worn it, so. But it's going to be a donut. It's just like too tight for me, so. We got these little shorts here and this top here. So, I was gonna sell it. This video is probably like so long, I am so sorry. But um, this is my great grandma's skirt, so we're either taking that or we're just gonna keep it here because it's just like so cool, so earthy. Not too bad. Not too bad, I just can't eat anything. They pop out in a weird way, but they're very cute because they're like a good length and it looks like a skirt, so that might go. Mesh top, that's going. They are flared, but for some reason I just, I do like these a bit more than the other ones, so that's in the, actually let's put it in the main pile, not the actual packing pile. Next is these pants, which I have worn a few times lately. I think I might take those. They make my butt look nice. Yin Yang pants. Worn these a lot lately again to look nice on my butt. So they're going. They're just damn cool. So you've seen them. I'll put them in. Holiday the label. So comfy. They'll be so good in summer. As well as the matching top. That's going. I just don't like the way they look. Even though they're so cute. My favorite jeans ever. They've been feeling tight on me. I'll try them before I leave and if they fit me, they'll go. But if not, they're not going. That's all, the clothes. Now, I've kind of already made up my mind on shoes, so I'll just like discuss this with you. These Doc Martin 1461, super heavy. I'm gonna take them as my quad soled short shoes. My brown 1461s which are so comfy and I could wear them literally with everything, but they are gonna stay here because I need to like purge something and yeah, I'll explain in a second. So they're staying. I hate how I have to do this every like time I travel. It's hard being a dog mom's addict and being a traveler at the same time. Maybe pile, if they fit, they're going. These vans are super comfy, easy, good walking shoes. So they're going. Literally my favorite shoes ever. They are um, probably not going. They are super, super heavy. They're not super convenient for walking on the daily because they get so heavy and I get sore feet sometimes. They're staying, but the good news is it means they're not gonna get too worn because they're already starting to get worn on the bottom. Now the sandals, they're undecided. I mean, we're going into summer, so they would be pretty handy, but legit, they're probably the heaviest dogs I own and their sandals, which is so odd. Then we have these ones that I just won, which is this cool like painted design. And of course, I'm not taking them because I want them to stay pristine and like just be part of the collection. I'm not gonna like wear them for now while I'm traveling, but maybe when I get back. My brand new babies, these Mary Janes, which look so fresh because like, you know, <laughs> haven't worn them. And yes, you're probably like, why don't you just take the Bethans instead of those? They're just flat. But to be honest, these are gonna be a good everyday shoe. They will replace the brown 1461s and the Bethans. So that's gonna be that, good for winter, good for summer. Obviously I am taking these bad boys, my new ex-girls, they're pretty heavy, so I'll probably wear them on the plane and they take up so much room, so. We have these white Jadens, which I'll be taking um, because I just bought them, I gotta wear them in and I'll be styling them for a bit and then I'm gonna paint them, so. Basically, they're the shoes I'm thinking about taking, although maybe not those, so. That's the suitcase, not sure if that's gonna work out. That's the keep here pile, probably. And that's the sell pile, so. Alrighty guys, it seems that my purge took like way too long because my camera just died. But we made it, we've gone through all the clothes. I'll see if it actually fits in the suitcase. So I spent like a week going into this room and kind of looking at my stuff and then slowly narrowing it down. And I think I narrowed it down pretty much 
as far as I could go and ended up taking probably about 20 to 30 clothing items, which is kind of probably a lot. So I packed everything into my can can. It's kind of like a makeshift uh, packing cube. But good news is I'm really good at packing. I am a pro at this. It's funny that I used to be such a minimalist and would only take like a couple of different things. And now I kind of am a maximalist. Like it's really hard to pair all these things together, but I'll make it work while I'm away. Here is what it looks like. Mainly got shoes on the side of the bag, which is actually the top of the bag. So you gotta be careful of that. Got all the clothes on this side. You can take the can can out. And we got heaps of room down there, as well as your shoes. This is just a jacket in this section, which I could totally like take out and put into this bag. Cause I haven't even put anything in this bag yet. And then I'll have to figure out where these are going. Probably in here. So if this is too heavy, I may have to take these out and not take them which is super, super sad, but maybe I'll find some cool ones in America. All right, it seems like my bag is fairly packed. Let's have like a little weight test. I will see if my Nana has any scales. Yes, I'm at my Nana's house and yes, I'm taking over every room, but let's see. Okay, initially heavy, I'm a weakling, but uh, I think it could be doable. Like it's not like I'm struggling too bad, so. Hopefully I don't have charges at the airport. The bag has done the weigh in and I can't show you because I have to lift it, but it came down to under 20 kilos. Mm, but I got to add a few more things. So I think it'll be perfect. But uh, yeah, hope you liked this video and went through my whole experience of purging my clothes yet again. Why is this always a problem? Probably because I like travel and I like clothes. But anyways, my name has been Jen. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you haven't already, please subscribe. My Instagram's at in the wonder years. And until next time, keep wondering.